here's what we know so far. This fatal crash that happened yesterday, it happened on track owned and operated by CSX. Now, Amtrak's new CEO, uh, Richard Anderson, says that CSX was responsible for a locked signal that sent the passenger train down the wrong track to ultimately collide with a parked freight train. This is still an active investigation, so a lot has yet to come out. But CSX is not commenting on those details specifically. But this does come at a crucial time, really, for both railroads. Now, for CSX, it's in the midst of a turnaround with a new CEO at the helm, Jim Foote, after Hunter Harrison unexpectedly passed away in December. And it comes amid what's already been pretty tight scrutiny by federal regulators after cost cuts and changes to operations triggered service woes in the middle of last year. What this crash raises for CSX is the question potentially of whether those cost cuts, whether those operational changes maybe went too far. Now for Amtrak, even if it's not at fault, yesterday marks the third fatal crash involving an Amtrak train in less than two months. And that comes as the government subsidized passenger railroad has experienced really a turnaround of its own with record ridership, record revenue, record operating earnings posted last year. The question for Amtrak, is this going to dent all of that consumer demand? Lastly, once again, this puts positive train control back in focus and specifically why the safety tech is not in use yet here in the states the short answer it's expensive it's been costing the industry tens of billions of dollars to implement and there's no single universal operational system and what that basically means is that if one company uses the tracks of another company there's been some technical difficulties for example what we saw happened yesterday. So guys, the railroads have until the end of this year to get PTC in place. But of course, as we've seen with some of these crashes recently, it really potentially would have made a difference.